Welcome back, everybody. We are still on our world tour of my Let's Play world. So last episode, we got a tour of the beach resort. And although I would love to lounge around by the beach, we need to continue on. So we're going to start out here at the La Playa Beach Resort. We're going to uh, hop in a boat and sail north over the ocean, past all these little islands, and eventually end up at this little cove on this peninsula where I have an expanded village that I have built here that we are going to take a tour of. So back in 2017, the new release for Minecraft came out where we had some new villagers. One of them was a cartographer. And the cartographer had some maps, like an ocean monument and a woodland forest stuff. So I wanted to get one of those maps. Uh, my old villagers didn't have those villagers in it. So I needed to sail north across the sea uh, to see if I could find a new village in some newly spawned land. So I found this peninsula with a little a village right in the middle of this, uh, I guess it was just a sandbar. And there just happened to be a couple libraries and a couple librarians and a cartographers there. So I was in luck. And then uh, I liked the way this looks. So I decided to make a forward base of operations out of the uh, location. So I added in a bunch of new buildings. And then I kind of liked the way this kind of this looked with the sandstone, the acacia, and I thought these apartment buildings would look really good up against these cliffs here overlooking the main village. So I added all those in, walled everything up, added in a good farming area, added a dock. We have a llama stables up on top of the hill. And then I had this, uh, you know, desert right next door so I could mine things. So that is how this got started. So let's dive right in and get some detailed look at all the buildings and what I've got here. So we will start off here at the docks. Kind of the most logical place. So if we left the spruce treehouse and traveled north, we'd eventually hit here. So docks are pretty straightforward. We've got a tiny little room here in case you need to sleep. I carried the lighting from the village down all the way through here because we had, it had that tiny little village on the coast over there that I started with. We have this large wheat field. I have gone through here and added like the composters and stuff, which is way later than the uh, 2017 when this was initially built. You can see I've got the you know, apartment buildings butt up right against the uh, wheat fields. So let's head on up. So at the top of the hill, we swing off to the right here. We're going to go over, we have this llama stables here because llamas were the goal when I got over here. So we have a stable stuck mainly with the acacia, which is the natural wood in the area. And it goes well with the, uh, the terracotta and the the sandstone. A bunch of llamas running around with different you know, different blankets on. So I gave them all the different colored blankets and stuff. Which is a nice little touch you can do. If we come over to the first building here. These buildings are kind of a maze. Like if you go through here, you got this room here, and I don't think all of them are furnished yet. So this one, you actually go up one more level, and you get to this little rooftop, you know, 
kind of a patio or whatever. And they also have a balcony you can, which is unfinished. Oh, this is not safe at all. I guess I ran out of acacia to do the safety rail. But you do get a good look at the village from here, or the city. It's, this is actually kind of a city. All the different buildings, more apartment towers all the way over there, which kind of mirror, mirror the ones that are on this side. And we have like the safety wall, which goes around. I don't have too much problem from uh, monsters coming off the hills there. I've lit a lot of it up, but I think the, they get into the water and they don't really get anywhere. So in this building, yeah, this is like unfurnished. Yeah, I haven't, I never got around to finishing this building. Except for the first floor. It looks like I did this part. Yeah, so I've gone through here and put in a few furnishings. But we're actually now in the building next door to it. So they're like the buildings are actually connected. As you see, I got this ladder here, and this will take me up, you know, to all the floors on this building. This one has the balcony where you can sit there and snack. What do we have here? Bedrooms, that kind of stuff. If we keep going up, I think one more floor here. Yeah, this one's furnished. And this one takes you up yet again. Another floor, another bedroom. Like I said, it's like, kind of like a big maze. I've got a tiny little bedroom over here, nothing here. Well, and this takes you back out. So I've kind of went through, there's one, two, like three different buildings all in that little tour. And I still have more. If you go down here, there's another one here and another one there. And they're all kind of interconnected on the inside with these. The ladders take us from one building to the next. Or they take us up and down. And in some rooms, they all connect. It's like if we go down here, we've got this balcony here. So it's kind of like a, a maze of housing. And then on this side, it's about the same. Except around the back side, I've got this uh, little walkway. We have a few isolated buildings here where I haven't really built anything. But like, like the other ones, the houses are like independent, but they're connected. More empty housing here, and this goes all the way down. And goes all the way up. You can easily uh, kind of get disoriented going through here because nothing there. Like you start off in one building and you just take one little turn and you're in a different, completely different building. Like this, we go from building to building to building. You can always go up to the roof on most of them, or you can go down. I really thought I'd furnished more of these. Maybe I didn't. So we have this kind of rooftop balcony here where you can look down on stuff. But this one even takes you down here. Well, this one is like an ivory floor. Kind of unique. Another room here. This one even goes out into stairs here, which is actually the roof of a different building. And if we go down again, got a few more rooms here and there. Uh, this one has no escape. Uh, neither does this one. And this one you can get to the balcony at least. Let's see if I can get figure my way out of here. Oh, 
Okay, there we go. <laughs> Figured out how to get out of there. Now in the main floor is where my storage is. So we just have a lot of different storage, you know, chests and stuff for different items. And over here is my automated uh, sugar king farm. If we go into the maintenance hatch, take you back here. And it's a, just a simple piston. I've got one observer over here someplace. Oops, oops, uh, I guess I can't get to Oh, maybe if I go over here. Yeah, there's one observer right here. And when the sugar cane grows in front of that, it just triggers the pistons to push all the sugar cane into the water. And I still got a good deal of loss. You know, a lot of it, not a lot, but there's a fair amount ends up, you know, sitting on the grass here where the sugar cane is. So. Not a perfect system, but it actually does produce quite a bit. And that's just due to how big the farm is. And this was my first little, it's a natural, um, a natural village building. I just commandeered it and made it into a, a furnace array and a bed. And it's almost nighttime. So I may wait to sleep and then we will go see the rest of the town. So a lot of these buildings are all the stock standard villager you know, houses. A few of them I've expanded and made bigger. Like this one started off as just the one, the simple little one room one. I, Pushed it out a bit, put in some more, you know, area for beds and some more workstations and that kind of stuff. Like this is another one that started off as a simple square house. Probably I think this was the house here. And then I just pushed it out and made room for beds and stuff. So um, basically took the standard housing and made it a little bigger. Got some kind of apartment areas over here with beds and that kind of stuff. And then you'll have like upstairs. Got more sleeping areas. We have a balcony. You can go out here and overlook stuff. Sneak across and get into your neighbor's balcony. And it all has a too high wall so you're protected from any uh, zombie hordes that come in there. And the villagers seem happy, happy. That reminds me of like a southwestern kind of adobe style. So you got basic farms. Got a big library over here. So if you go over here, we got a library. I used to have a pretty good villager in here, but he ran away. My villager management is not very good. More, uh, more housing. They got more, yeah, more housing here. The cartographer. Oh, he's wearing something different. It must be a savanna clothing. Oh, that's just the same building. Here's the well for the natural sea. Oh, I got a map over here so you can see. That's where we're standing. Uh, that was the dock we came in on. Got the llama farm up here. Those are all the apartment buildings we went through and the ones on the back side. We're just sort of systematically going through all these buildings. And then we'll end up over there. I do like the maps. These simple, these are like the ones I, you know, they were like the ones over there, but I, these are the ones I expanded. So I could have pushed this one out too and made it bigger, but I didn't. 
I added more uh, farms over here. Had this nice, this is more of like a blacksmith shop, workshop here. Kind of industrial. The acacia room. This little shack over here on the corner. Yeah, nothing too fancy. If you notice all the cactus there, it's a line of defense against the zombies coming through. Because they'll push their way through and then they will uh, just die on the cactus. Someone took out a door here. Oh, and down here goes to my underground tunnel system. It only goes, I have no idea how far it goes, it goes ways down there. But it was meant to connect. This was going to go to the treehouse. But there's still a lot of digging that needs to be done before that will be complete. I just haven't got around to it. More housing. More housing. Oh, nether portal here. So we got the portal building. Another building there. Villagers all over the place. Oh, this is a yeah, fishing a fishing shop because it's right on the docks over here. With bales of kelp. And icebergs in the distance. It was so funny to see the way the iceberg ice biome spawned right next to the savanna and the desert. Which is not quite the way it would do it normally. Here, I think we've gone through all the buildings. And if we haven't, you've they're all the same. I mean, they're they're just buildings with places for the villagers to sleep. Got this nice dock here, which I wraps around. Gives the illusion you could actually connect to it, but you can't. And if we head over here, I've got. Uh, there we go. Okay. This takes us into the apartment buildings. Once again, they all kind of interconnect. So you can get from one to the other to the other to the other and get through all, through all of them this way. So just going through here, you can get all the way over to the very end. So every building is connected. This goes yeah, underground someplace. Okay. Didn't realize I had just an open mine inside my building. Once again, most of these are, I thought these were more furnished than they were, but than they are, but they're not. You can see I got a lot of apartments. Once I got started, I just started building them all. We got the two towers. Most of these are, like I said, not furnished completely. And you can always get from one to the other to the other relatively easily. And this is mainly put up here just to protect us from the zombies. I think I've already been through here maybe. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, this one's like a taller tower. So it'll go all the way up here, but still not furnished. Dang, I thought these were more, you know, more furnished. Over there is my sand mine. That used to be a tall sand mountain. But I mined all the sand out so I could build this beautiful city. We got you know all those apartments there. We got these apartment complexes here, the bay, all that. So pretty successful, thriving city. The villagers love it. They're all over the place. 
not perfectly uh, safe for them, but it will do. And with that, I am going to end today's tour. So that covers this uh, village here. I think next time we will follow this road out that way until we uh, reach something that we want to take a look at. For now, I'm going to say thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you come back and catch the next one. And have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.